Hello everyone! Today I want to fill out my comprehensive exam bullet journal in the page where I talk about what exactly is my comprehensive exam and at the same time I want to tell you a little bit about how my comprehensive exam is structured. In the previous video about this bullet journal or this comprehensive exam journal, I mentioned that I planned what I was going to write on each page by using post-its and having a small sketch of what exactly I wanted to do on that page. In this one in particular, I didn't do a design per se, but I did write what I actually wanted to write on this page. So in this journal, I want to document the process of going through the comprehensive exam. So I'm gonna write that. So that's the main reason why I started this journal and I hope that in the future more PhD students actually create a journal for the comprehensive exam. So in that way we may see exactly what works best and any tips or tricks we can actually take from that and have it as a learning experience not only for ourselves but also for others. So that's what's in this journal. Now I want to answer what is the comprehensive exam. So a comprehensive exam generally is an exam that you take if you are pursuing a high higher education degree. Um, for example, if you're pursuing a doctorate, if you're pursuing a a master's, it could be at the master's level, and it can also be at the bachelor's level. And in my case, I'm pursuing my PhD comprehensive exam. So in this exam, I have to demonstrate that I have the knowledge and the skills to not only follow through the program, but also to create new knowledge and contribute to my topic. So in this case, it would be to create scientific contribution towards my topic. So that's what basically is the comprehensive exam. It's an exam that it can be it can have an oral and a written part and it basically for PhD students it's a way to demonstrate that you essentially have the skills to create and contribute to the scientific community and once you pass your exam you go from being a PhD student to a PhD candidate. So right now I'm a PhD student at ESG UGAM and I want to I wanted to also include in these in this page how does it work the comprehensive exam how is it structured at ESG UGAM. So I'm probably going to write ESG UGAM comprehensive exam. So my comprehensive exam, as I mentioned, has two parts. So it would be the written exam and the oral part. For the written, I actually have to answer three questions. This includes any sub-questions. For the oral, I have to basically answer or defend and explain the written. So for the written, to answer those three questions, I will have a 12-week period to answer that. And then after I hand in those answers, the professors have three weeks to hand in their results. So in three weeks, I get my results. Given that those results were successful, <laughs> I then would have would pass to the oral exam for which I would have six days to prepare after knowing the results from my written exam. 
that's how the UCAM comprehensive exam works. And those three questions, this, these three questions are selected by my advisors. To whom I would be defending and explaining the oral part, it would be also to my advisors. So my advisors play a key part on this exam. And basically, that's what the comprehensive exam is going to be for me. And in addition to this, I must add a point here that my advisors provide me a list of papers to read in order to be able to answer the questions of the written part. They also state that I may be required to add more material to that reading list in order to be able to do a good job in the answers of those three questions. That's it. That's what my comprehensive exam is like and what a comprehensive exam is. If you have any questions on uh, any uh, details regarding the comprehensive exam or if you would like to actually share how your comprehensive exam was structured and what exactly you had to do for your PhD or your master's or your bachelor's, I would be very interested in reading that on the comments below. Also, let me know if you're thinking on starting a bullet journal for your PhD journey or your master's journey and let me know how you're gonna set it up.